take out your highlighter, you can highlight what the definition of a combination is. Combination is a selection of objects where the order doesn't matter. So up till now, 8.1 to 8.3 has all been about permutations, where you're arranging things in order, but there are times when it doesn't matter the order. So the example, consider the number of ways a reader can choose three books from four books, right? There's four books and they say you can take three of them home. Well, the order is not going to matter. If you pick the red, the yellow, and the blue book, you're like, no, I'm going to put them back. I've changed my mind. I now want the blue, the yellow, and the red book. They look at you and go, you still have the same three books. It doesn't matter the order you pick them when you take them home. Okay, so unlike positioning, there's going to be less ways. So for example, what they have here is the combinations of the three books. You could pick book one, book two, or book three. In permutations, there would be six ways you could do that if you had to arrange them on a shelf. Because it would be different if book one was first or book one was last. Okay? You could also pick book one, book two, book four, one, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. There's only four combinations, but there would be 24 permutations. And so one of the things that a combination is, is just a permutation where you take away the order. So one way of looking at it is that with the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you pick three of them and did spaces, four choices, three choices, two choices, you would get 24 in total. But for each choice that you pick, every time you pick three spaces, three spaces could be arranged in three factorial ways, or six ways. And so all a combination is, is a permutation with the order divided out. And in this case, 24 objects divide out the order, you're left with only four combinations left. So on your next page, they have the formula for combinations. This formula is on your formula book. And unlike the permutations formula, where usually it was just easier to use spaces than it was to actually use the formula, for combinations, we end up using the formula a lot. In some textbooks, you'll see it written this way. Just this last week, I learned in some places they write it that way. But we'll be using this notation, NCR, and often you'll hear me see, say the word choose, because you're choosing R objects from N where the order doesn't matter. So here's our first example. we'll look at some lotteries. In a lot of lotteries, where you pick numbers, the order doesn't matter. If you have the same numbers picked as the winning numbers, even if their numbers are in a different order, it doesn't matter, you win. So here in the Kino lottery, you choose 20 numbers from 1 to 80. How many combinations are possible? You would just go to the formula says combination, so the order doesn't matter. Wow, that's a bad zero. Let's try that again. 80, choose 20. And this is on your calculator. So on my calculator, I go to math and then over to probability. Oh, first I think on mine I have to type in 80, then go over to probability, NCR, and I can write 80 choose 20, and it's some huge number, 3.5 times 10 to the 18. Such a big number 
that your chances of picking the right 20 numbers are very, very slim. Now, Kino Lottery, at least for me, I don't, I've never played Kino Lottery. I've never really seen it anywhere. Have you guys ever seen a Kino Lottery anywhere? So this one's maybe not the best example. Probably more typical in Canada. Have you seen Lotto 649? I think they write it like that. Have you heard of that one before? That's probably more common. Lotto 649 is the same idea. You have 49 numbers and you choose six of them. So 49 choose six tells us all the possible different ways that you could choose six numbers. And if we type this into our calculator, 49 math choose six, 1.398, get all the numbers here, 816. almost 14 million different possibilities, okay? I think what is the current, I think to play Lotto 649, is it $2 or is it $5? Do you know? I don't play it. I think it's $2. I think it's $2 to pick six numbers. So you pay $2 and you go, oh, I like 32, I like 15. My birthday's on the 12th, I gotta pick 12. And you pick your six numbers. You have a one in 14 million chance of winning. That's not very good, okay? But it's possible. And the thing that happens, because you hear that the lottery happens and somebody almost always wins. How do they defeat that odds? Well, if you sold 14 million tickets, not every, some people are gonna have the same number, but once you sell a very large amount of tickets, well, by then, s chances are someone might have picked that number, okay? And the Lotto, six, uh, Lotto 649, like sometimes the prizes get pretty big. You see the, the billboards, they say it's at 35 million. It's at $45 million. Well, at $2 a ticket, you could buy every single possibility. You want to you want to win Lotto 649? You just have to buy 13,983,816 tickets. A $2 a ticket that costs you a mere $28 million. But if the prize is $35 million, would that be a good idea? Why not? I mean, it costs you 28 million, you're going to win. You're guaranteed to win. You just have to hope nobody else wins. Because if somebody else wins and you split it, then you're screwed. Also, I think it's very hard to go to a bank and say, can you give me some money? Right? That's what banks are for. People do this all the time. They go to banks and say, I'd like some money. I'm thinking maybe Christmas, I'll go to the bank. I'll say, I'd like some money. They say, why would you like some money? You say, I'd like to win the lottery. <laughs> This is where your application gets ripped up most likely. But no, if, if you give me $28 million, I will win the lottery. It's on my bucket list. It's not the greatest thing to have on your bucket list, but you could guarantee that you win it. And if it's a super big prize, as long as nobody else wins, you're fine. But as soon as somebody else wins, then you're screwed because the bank wants their money back. You can't just say, oh, yeah, I only won 10 million, so sorry. So chances are they're not going to give you the money. But that's what a combination is. Oh, wait, questions for practice, then I'll tell you another story before you start these. I think four, five, and yes, four, five, and seven. So 